Well, tonight, hundreds of El Pasoans, they are enjoying a borderland tradition. The East Ridge Holiday Lights display in East El Paso over in the Eastwood area. Now, you still have time to get out there. We have a map that we found online, and it gives you a better understanding of where you need to go. Now, the neighborhood, again, is by Eastwood off McCray. You can enter by going onto South Desert Hills Lane, that is off McCray, and that road leads you to East Ridge Drive. You'll find a line of cars driving through the area. All you got to do is get in line and Join the crap. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon caught up with the East Ridge visitors this evening. She has more. It's awesome. I think it's very fun. I think it's awesome because people still have this Christmas spirit. People of all ages enjoy the colorful East Ridge holiday lights display. Christmas Eve by far one of the busiest nights for this tight-knit neighborhood. Cars lined up around the neighborhood. Families driving by in awe. It looks like they took a lot of time and effort to do this. The neighborhood tucked away in East El Paso is a borderland treasure. Each year, the winner decorates their homes and property, but it's not your ordinary neighborhood display. East Ridge folks spared no expense when it comes to showing their Christmas spirit. The displays include Christmas figurines, luminarias, and those holiday lights. Visitors say this year's designs are bigger and better. It seems like there's like a lot of more lights, like everyone's getting more into it. Each house is decorated in its own unique way. However, the one that stood out the most this year especially to children, was this house decorated with Disney's Frozen characters. Which one's your favorite? I like the Elsa one. The Elsa one? What about you? The Elsa one. So you guys love Frozen on? Yeah. yeah. Those enjoying the display say the bright holiday atmosphere not only lifts their spirits, but also allows them to share their optimism with those they love the most. People love to just come out here and walk and drink their cocoa and just talk and have bonding with each other, you know, with family. Joe Sertagon, ABC7. And if you head on out there, bundle up. We just stepped outside. It is pretty cold. By the way, I don't know if they're still selling hot cocoa out there, but uh, two years ago I went with some friends. Best hot chocolate I've ever had. No joke. Well